Hello guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. Today we're going to test an Anta Firefinder Plus. So let's start. This is a Anta Firefinder Plus. We're going to initiate some testing. We already put the ASE the alarm signal equipment to a test mode. Now we're going to begin testing this Firefinder Plus. First, we're going to isolate first the, the alarm devices and the auxiliary. Okay, because we have fan controls here and the occupant warning system. So we begin. Press the menu and then press number seven, which is tool. Seven, and then it will ask you for an alarm. So you are on the tool menu and you test for alarm. And then what zone or device? Zone is for conventional and device is for specific address. So then press one. So it's going to ask you what is the detector address and what loop. Loop, so let's press one. And then it asks you to press enter. Press enter. And then a device. We're going to use one A. That's the detector just above the fire panel. See that, one eight? Okay, so we number one and eight. And then, so then we press enter. So the system will go on alarm. So it's on alarm test in progress. We got the alarm. The ASE is on alarm. And then we're going to release the alarm device. Okay, after we heard the occupant warning system, we're going to initiate the reset. Says that to silence the alarm and then reset. All clear. ASE now. All clear. And then we can put the system to normal. All right. Just in case the fan control activates, that light there activate will lit up. All you have to do is just press, press that button reset. Okay. Because we isolate the ancillary, that's the reason why the fan controls did not activate. Easy. Now, just in case you are trying to search for a specific detector, we are going to search for the detector. For example, loop 1 detector 17 is missing. You want to know where is loop 1 detector 18, so you can look at 17. So let's go to functions. All right, so I already logged in the password for an amp up. The normal password, the default password is 3333. So we are going to initiate number four, test four. So look for a device, let test. So this time we're searching for detector 18, all right? As before, I told you my example is we're searching for a missing detector 17. So to search for 17, look for 18. So that's, let's say that's loop one. Enter. I want to know where 18 is so I can search 17. Right? This is when you're doing some fault finding and then press enter. Okay, we will ask you press zero if you want to turn that LED on, which is I'm going to do press zero. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, zero to turn the LED off and one to turn the LED on. So I press one. And then after pressing one, detector 18. There you go, it lit up. Okay. So that means that is detector 18. So we're going to turn off the LED by pressing zero. And then that LED will switch off. Okay, easy. So that's how you search for a detector, a nearby detector of a missing detector. Now you just press cancel, cancel, Cancel and all clear. Okay, this is how you find a detector. 
Now let's talk about loop test. When do we use loop test? That is if you arrive on site or there is a, a fault here saying open circuit loop one. So you will go have to go to loop test. So function, again password is 3333, and then go to number four which is test four. Password 3333. Enter. Now, you are going to do a loop test. Number one. One. Okay, going to ask what particular loop. Let's say the open circuit when you arrive is loop one. So, press loop one. Then enter. Then it starts a loop diagnostic test. Okay. So, when do loop fall or loop circuit open? normally happen when somebody let's say replacing a ceiling tile and remove the detector base then you can have a loop open circuit so it start with diagnostic test side a and then later on it will go to diagnostic test side b now it's on side b then later on, it will ask you to press the VN button to complete the test. So just press reset, continue, and then you just press reset. Okay, and then everything is back to normal. So you only do this if you have a loop circuit open. Okay, that's it. That's it. I'll see you next time. This is Elmer, your fire protection guy. Don't forget to subscribe.